Let me share my screen here. I'm, I say I'm going to do this in Excel just because it's um, I think it's easier to see. And <clears throat> you remember last time we did the um, the SA uh, stock on the assets. And this time we're going to do the rest of Sadie. So the dividends, the income, and the expenses. Now, this is going to happen throughout the year. So this, these first two are when we make the initial investment. These are what happens as the year goes on. So beginning of the year, you buy the company. It's kind of like what we did last time in, uh, in uh, chapter two. When you go into the next year, you know, when you at the end of the year, I should say, um, we have these other things that take care of the dividends, the income, and the additional expenses related to the assets. Okay, now I'm going to do a boring review of the equity method. And you recall that we have our investment. Uh, and let's just put a date. Let's just say uh, the first of the year, just to make it easy. And then we'd have uh, dividends. We would have income. Oops, income. And we may have some more expenses. Okay, so just for I'm making these numbers up. So you know you have a hundred thousand. Let's get those formatted. Uh, dividends you would call would subtract from it. I'm just making these numbers up. Don't uh, income added. And expenses subtracted. I'm just making these numbers up. And then you'd come up with your investment balance at the end of the year. Right? Okay, now when we want to get rid of this investment account. These dividends, income, and expenses, dividend, income, expenses, like we didn't say, we have to reverse those out. So these must be reversed out of the investment account. So the dividends will have to be added back. The income will be uh, subtracted out. The expenses will actually be included in the income for the company for the year, but we'll still have to make the adjustment for the uh, assets for the expenses. So anyway, this is all, you know, this all has to be taken care of when we, um, uh, Try to eliminate this investment account. So the first two ones, the SADI will eliminate the investment. These three are what goes on during the year. And so we usually account for this as an investment and we account for, we account for just like we do the equity method. But notice at the end of the year, then we have to reverse out because we are going to take up you know, their income, uh, their dividends and expenses, the additional expenses. We're going to do that at the end of the at the end of the year, we're gonna take whatever they have to come up with that income and put on the books. Now, here's the thing also though, you know, whatever the income is for the company, 
the, the you know whatever the income whatever the uh, income is for the parent company, it's not going to change because of the consolidation. It's going to be exactly the same. Why? Because well, we already taken care of it. We've already taken care of the you know the uh, income for the place and the dividends and all that. Okay, so so these are the um, the five that we're going to do the Sadie. Okay, so let's go to problem two. Now, <clears throat> uh, just like in chapter two, we are buying, you know, it's hundred percent of the company. So we don't have to worry about what our share is. So this is gonna be hundred percent of the company. Uh, we had our assets at fair value was that. Sounds payable. Okay, so come down here. Our total assets at fair value was this. Let me highlight these to make sure. Okay. Our liabilities were this. We're uh, 25 and the 65. This doesn't really matter because this is going to disappear. It doesn't. It doesn't exist anymore. There is no outstanding mm -hmm. stock, retained earnings, any of that stuff. So coming down here, we take the two ninety, subtract out the liabilities, and we come up with our net identifiable assets of that two hundred thousand. Here's a question for you. Uh, how much goodwill do we have? The net identifiable assets are 200,000. Jump in or put it in or put it in the chat if you want to. How much goodwill do we have? No one? Oh, come on. You guys are toying with me. How much? If we paid 225,000 and the identifiable assets, maybe that shouldn't be there. Oh, I'm goofing up my formatting. See, when you guys don't talk, I'm just gonna keep formatting. Is it just the 25,000 difference between 200 and 225? It is, yep. So the cash price premium, I'm gonna bring it down here just to, <laughs> keep myself busy. Um, so if this is what we paid for it, we must have paid for something more than just the, uh, so we'd have goodwill of, Okay. All right, so coming down here. So let me see if I can copy these without making a mess out of it.
<laughs> I guess the answer is no, I can't do that without making a mess out of it. Okay, so these are going to be the, um, you know, the, the, the ones we're going to have to uh, take care of here. Okay, so Sadie so, and the uh, um, stock uh, and the assets we did before, but we'll go ahead. Uh, the excess over book for these is that. Okay. So let's go ahead and start eliminating stuff. Okay, now we, let's remember the goal is here to get rid of this. Investment account. Okay, so this investment account, we're gonna to try to eliminate it because this investment account is really the bill company, right? This is bill company is this investment account. So if we're gonna take Bill's stuff and uh, crunch it in with ours, then uh, we have to uh, eliminate that investment account because it'd be, it'd be double, double counting, basically. We'd be, we'd be counting the bill company twice. Okay, so let's start out with our stock. Now this is gonna get a little bit tricky because it's a little bit different. This retained earnings is at year end. So we have to actually eliminate the retained earnings up here uh, above in the, um, the statement of retained earnings. So here's the income statement for both companies. This is our statement of retained earnings. And you'll notice that they added, uh, the 21,000 was added to their retained earnings. The dividends were subtracted and that's why they come with that 81. Okay, and you, know, you can see there 21,000 up here. All right. So let's go. Let's go. To, so here we're going to do. Coming out here, we go to the stock. Yes. Go on. Doing something stupid here. Okay. So. Uh, the stock, we have these two that we have to get rid of. And we'll make those, uh, not sure what color that is, but that color. Their credits, we want them to disappear, so we're gonna debit them. Now, this retained earnings really isn't going to exist at all because we're going to take out everything. This is something. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to come up here, and this is where we're going to go for the rest of our. Oops, stock is here at sixty-five because this is what it was when we bought it. Okay. All right. So those have all got to come off the books. Sixty-five plus thirty bucks. Okay. 
And by the way, just to give you a heads up, we are taking the income and the dividends off the books. And once we do that, this entire uh, 800,000 will disappear. I have a strike out here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, so we have the stocks, uh, the um, the assets. All right. Well, we're saying that these assets, the land has an extra ten thousand, and the buildings are have an extra twenty thousand. Okay, so land has. Forgot already. Ten and twenty thousand. Try that again. Oh, I gotta give that a color. Uh, let's make that. Uh, Oops. <laughs> Just like that, uh, white. Oh, we can green up. Uh, no, that's too close to the other one. I'll leave it to the matter. All right. So this is what, 30,000? Actually, I'm missing an asset. I got these two. But there's one more asset I forgot. I'll give you a clue, it's hard to identify. I got the dollar store, the little pointer figure. So I'm gonna. What asset? Okay, I'll learn how to use it. What asset uh, did I forget? Equipment? I don't know. Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill. Oh, yeah. We, we, oh. I'm sorry, we do have the, all the assets are still there, but we have uh, Goodwill is also going to be an asset we got to put on the books for twenty five thousand. So just a quick question. Are we, so what we're going through right now is trying, we're just going through what we did last summer, uh, last last week, right? We're clearing that one, that investment first before we move on to. Uh, exactly. This, is, okay. this, is a, this part is exactly what we just did last week. Exactly. Okay. And yeah, so and the, oops, what am I doing here? All right, so how much is that? Yeah, yeah. This this part so far is exactly like last week. A little bit different in that the retained earnings are up here. You know, these are the retained earnings that we're going to concern with are up here, and we're eventually going to eliminate these two out of it. But yeah, this is this is exactly what we did last week. Other than this down here not being. Uh, this 81,000 really doesn't exist because it'll, these two will be eliminated. So the 65 will be eliminated, the 21 and the five will be eliminated. So this ending retain range will really be zero when we're done. Okay, so we get the SA, now we gotta go to the D, the dividends. Now the dividends are a little bit strange. You remember that the dividends uh, let me go back here. The dividends were subtracted to get the investment, right? So if we're going to undo this, we have to add those back in. So the dividends will actually be added back into the investment. And I got to come up with a
kind of reddish. Okay. So, so now we're sad, we're up to sad. So we got these three done. The income we have to take out. Now the income we're gonna take out is this 19,000. It's a funny color. Be a little dark. What the? <laughs> okay, so it's nineteen thousand. We have to take out. Now this is a credit balance, so we're going to take it out with a uh, debit. Uh, nineteen thousand. Let's give that a uh, oh, blue. That's the hardest part about these is figuring out which color you have to use. Well, I know green. Okay, so it has to be taken out and down here, it'll also be taken out of the investment. Okay, the last thing we gotta do are the additional expenses. Now, when we come up here, we see that this, um, this land and building, that these are, you know, we, we put these on the books. Now, we don't, whenever we put some, an asset on the books, there's a possibility we have to depreciate it. Now, are we gonna depreciate the land? No, you don't depreciate land. So the only thing we're gonna depreciate is this building. So this building uh, is gonna last for 10 years. Put it here where my goodwill was supposed to go. Okay, so the building's gonna last for 10 years. So we have the build, building was uh, the next 20,000. I'm gonna abbreviate excess as this excess of 20. Yeah. And we're gonna divide that by. It's gonna last for 10 years. Two thousand. So this will be our depreciation expense per year. And we're going to make the same, you know, the same adjustment for the next 10 years. Okay, so our expenses, we're gonna to have to add this in. 2,000, we add it to our expenses. Now you'll notice something here. Notice that bill company had 
21,000 is their net income, but we only picked up 19,000. Well, we picked up 19,000 because 2,000 was additional expenses. When we did the equity method, we subtracted out 2,000 of that. So this 19,000 is actually the 21,000 with that 2,000 subtracted out of it already. Now, so we come down here. So the, uh, the investment account is already adjusted, but we have to adjust this equipment account because we added 20,000 to it, but we've, uh, 2,000 has been depreciated on it. So here's a weird thing. So the, uh, a couple of strange things that when you're going through these, the um, the expenses are the only ones that don't go through the investment account. Why? Because the the income has already been adjusted for the expenses. We put the expenses on the books up here. We also have to take it off of the asset down here because this asset really doesn't have an extra twenty thousand. It has uh, 20,000 minus two, what, 18,000 should be added to the assets because we already used it for one year. You know, next year it'll be, you know, the, the, the decreasing and decreasing, decreasing. until it goes down to zero. Okay. Well, after all that, now this is important. The totals for Amy company are not going to change. Uh, the balance sheet ones will, but the, uh, the, the total for most of the stuff is not gonna change. We're gonna pick up all of Bill's revenues, cost of sale, blah, 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 blah. And then, um, Take out the dividends, and it should all come out. This should all come out to be exactly the same, because you'll notice this twenty-one thousand and this two thousand are going to, you know, come to the nineteen. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, so the totals, the revenues, we're going to smash them together. Cost goods sold, uh, do the same thing. I'm gonna put those in the, I'm gonna put the rest of these in as negatives just so we, we kind of know they're being subtracted. No, cost goods sold gets subtracted out. Oops. <laughs> uh, things I bring in the formula. So these are really all getting subtracted out. All right. Uh, so let's take a look see here. So, okay, so we're gonna have our expenses are gonna be 15 plus the 5,250 plus this 3,000. Check and make sure I did that right. Yep, I think that's right. Organization expense, we don't have any. The income is going to get taken out. Let me ask, do I really have to do that? And the answer is no. <laughs> you put a zero in because it's going to get uh, taken out. So all of this is taken care of already. This 21,000 will be gone. And the only thing that'll be left is uh, 
Actually, a better way to do it. It's, it's total enough. Do it this way. See how that's come out to be exactly the same as that? So everything from Bill Company has been taken out. 21, 21 is gone. We come down here, these dividends are have been taken out. So we're plus 65, minus 65. And again, you might say, is that really necessary? And I would say, Uh, no. <laughs> the 79,000 from up here, we have equal negative. The dividends will be subtracted out. And you'll notice that that comes out exactly the same. Okay, so if we're using the equity method, and most companies will, when we're using the equity method, got my little pointer up here. When we're using the equity method, um, it's not going to change our income. We've already accounted for the income in the equity method. So it's not going to change the income of the parent company. Now, it will change the numbers that come up with that income because you're going to add in their revenues and expenses and all that. You know, but instead of being this for the company, when you look at the consolidated totals, it look like that. Okay, coming down here. Add them up. Uh, add in the debits, subtract out the credits for assets. <laughs> I'm going to do it on my calculator to make sure this one came out. Uh, it would be this plus that plus that minus that. So 120 plus 45 plus 20,000 minus 2,000. Just checking. Okay, now, oh, uh, good, we have goodwill. Oops. Uh, this, this is the tricky one. So we'll have 239,000 plus the dividends. Remember we subtracted them out before? So now we're adding them back in. And wait a minute, I just did something wrong. Subtract out that, subtract out the 55, subtract out the 19. Hey, this is zero, that's what we want.
question over Okay, <clears throat> let's go down here to this is similar to what we did before, but again, we're only going to have the um, the equity section from the uh, parent is the only thing that's going to be left. And you could do the math here, 90,000 plus 30,000 minus 30,000. But these are all just going to be the same. And this last one here, this retained earnings, this is really zero because these are all zeroed out. The net income's gone, the dividends are gone, the uh, beginning uh, retained earnings are gone. That's really, it would be a zero. So this is just 369. So you'll notice that this is exactly the same. Hopefully it adds up. Hey, hey, look at that, it does. Where's the other thing? Yeah, so that is the uh, that's the worksheet. We're gonna we're gonna do several of those several models. Um, but those are the, that's how the worksheets are going to go. And uh, I, had a, I had an instructor when I was going through school just talked about it as if it was you're unmixing a cake. <laughs> you had all these things going into the investment account, and then you got to take them all back out. Um, you know to to get to get rid of that account basically. And this again, this investment account, we want this to be uh, zero. Because everything that's in this account is now in these are in these totals, and this is what the consolidated financial statements would look like. Probably wouldn't have the investment account on there. Zero. Get the idea. Okay, I tell you what. Let's do problem three. Now, problem three, you'll notice that your terrible teacher did not put this thing in. So you can use this as your guide over here. Should, it should fit right in, I think. Uh, 23, 923. Uh, the 200,000 is not correct. <laughs> I have a little bit of an adjustment here. And again, that is simply uh, 
the assets at fair value, subtract out the liabilities at fair value when we purchased it. Okay, I'll be quiet and let you guys work on that one. Um, you can take a break at some point. We're pretty close to a break time. Yeah, you know, if I take a break, you can. And then come back and uh, I, give it a shot. You know, to, and don't worry about making mistakes. We'll, we'll go through it and make sure that everybody has the, uh, the correct answer, answers uh, when you come back. But uh, go ahead and try it and, and you know, see if you can, can come up and make it balance. Yeah, that's, a, that's the big thing.
Okay, well, we'll kind of go over this one and see how you did. All right, uh, let's see here. Okay, so following through the Sadie thing. Uh, take the stocks off. And remember the retained earnings is now up in the retained earnings statement. So I think she got 172 for that, or just that, I'm sorry, 272. The assets, we have the two um, assets need, need to be written up to the fair value. And then also the goodwill and the goodwill comes from this down here. The net identifiable assets was 320. Cash price, cash price paid was 360. So the unidentified asset was uh, 40. Uh, 40,000, I should say. Okay. So that's the assets we have for the books. Then we go to the dividends. Dividends are kind of quirky in that they're the only ones that actually get added back into the investment. And they get added back in because we subtracted them uh, during the year. So if we want to undo this account, we have to uh, add them. Income gets taken out. And the additional building was uh, 32,000 divided by 10 years is 3,200. So it's additional depreciation expense. And we'll do that for the next 10 years. Okay, so let's see what these totals would be. Now, if we do it correctly, We do it correctly, we should end up with these amounts. They should be exactly the same. Okay. And these, it, quite honestly, this you just take these um, from the parent company. None of these retained earnings exist anymore. 104 was taken out, the um, 33,600 was taken out, and the 8,000, these are all taken out. So the only thing to be left are these. So if you want, you can just, you know, put those in. Uh, income is that, which 
We could also get, what did I just do? Let's try that again. Income is that. Uh, this would be 96 plus 8 minus 8, 96. And there's nothing left there. Actually, this should be negative. I always like to check is this one. Yep. Okay. All right, now this one, this investment account, we want that to go to zero. Plus the 8,000 minus the rest of these. Yay. Down here, the only thing that's going to be left for the outstanding stock in that is for the equity section is going to be the parents. No, so this stock here, nobody is it's not outstanding. Nobody owns that. The only stock they can possibly own is from the parent company. Any question on that? <clears throat> By the way, I just you know, kind of you may be wondering well, why is the uh, why are the assets higher 
you know, than when this was just a regular, you know, when we had this 1,230,000, we still had this investment on the books. So they might say, well, why is it, why is it higher? You know, why does it go from 1,230,000 to 1,374,000? When you put all the assets on the books, that's half of it. You also have these two uh, liabilities. And you'll notice that the only difference You know, the only difference between this number and this number over here is because of these liabilities. So basically it's these liabilities that are, you know, in, in the net totals would be subtracted from these, but these, these liabilities are the only thing that's making that difference. Any question on that? If I bored you to tears. <laughs> yeah, these, these are a little bit tedious. And if, if they seem a little strange, they should. These are the first time you've seen them. I tell you what, why don't we do this? I know I don't want to, want to put it in your hands, I think. I think we'll, we'll stop right here for tonight, but what I want you to do is uh, work this page four on your own. Say homework. Let me share my screen with you so you see what I'm doing. So page four, uh, we'll do that as homework. I'll put this and I'll put this up about up here in a second. So page four, do this as homework and see if you can come out with, um, you know, make it balance. In the end, this is one of those weird, you know, because it's kind of quirky. Uh, it's one of those weird things that you know, the more you do it, the more it'll make sense. Questions? I did any yes, I know it goes. And uh, again, don't be afraid to make a mistake. If it doesn't balance, uh, you can email me. If it, you know, it says you know I'm off by 130,000, whatever it is, uh, you can go ahead and email me, and we'll we'll kind of go through it. But see if you can do page uh, problem number four. I think it's actually page four too. Um, and see if you can do that on your own. And then uh, we come back next week. We're going to. Um, Finish up the handout. They're, they're, so do do number four on your own. I'll put the you know solution up, and we'll talk about anything. Any questions on that? Uh, probably do page five together. Well, you guys see, I mean, you can give a shot page five. There's nothing wrong with doing it ahead of time. Um, and then we'll do uh, some problems out of the book, which are worded a little bit differently, which is a good thing. It was a little bit more of a oh I don't know change of scenery, shall we say? Uh, is in, uh, doing it a little bit uh, different than uh, uh, you've seen the handout. It's all the same stuff. It's just the wording in that that gets changed. And you never know what's going to end up on the CPA exam. So getting used to other verbiage is a, is a good thing. OK, uh, any questions? OK, so that's the consolidations. And we're, we're probably going to spend, uh, well, certainly next week and maybe the week after it, 
on uh, consolidation. It's kind of a big uh, part of the CPA exam. A lot of times it is anyways, not always, but uh, I know when I went through, we had a big uh, consolidation. This isn't new, uh, but when we went on through, we had a big uh, consolidation problem. All right, uh, any questions? So we don't have anything to do on Friday, right? Are we still working on chapter three? Okay. Nothing to do on Friday. Very excellent question. Uh, the chapter two handout is there if you want to turn that in. Um, I think most of you have turned it in already. But uh, the chapter two is there to be turned in. This is what we did last week, obviously. And uh, so, no, we're not, we haven't finished this handout and it, it won't be turned in until, well, next class we'll, we'll, I'll assign it next class. And so it'll be the following, I don't know, whatever day that is. Uh, just a question. I submitted my chapter one exams, but it has not been graded yet. No. Oh, I'll take a look at it. Uh, the, the chapter one uh, handout or exam? The exams. The exam. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to pull the, okay. the grades up on screen, but yeah, I'll definitely take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, any, any other questions? Any other grading questions? Okay, well, I will, the second we get offline here, I'll go ahead and take a look and see uh, and, and make sure that all the grades are in. Okay, uh, any other questions? All right, well, have a good uh, have a good night and I will see you guys in a week's time. Thank you. Thanks guys. Okay, Thanks. thank you, Professor. Bye guys.